I'm Stacey Sutton Kirby, Director of Government Relations at the Texas Humane Legislation Network. We are a 45-year-old mainstream animal welfare nonprofit promoting the humane treatment of animals through legislation, education, and advocacy. I'm really excited to be here at this fundraiser promoting awareness about what we do and uh, making it possible that we can pass legislation protecting animals from cruelty and abuse. We work primarily at the state legislature. Uh, we also do some work on local ordinances and at the federal level and it's really events like this that um, help us you know, get that really important work done. So without this kind of support, we just couldn't make it happen. So THLN is a beautiful organization in that we are the only statewide organization that protects animals through legislation, whether it's ordinances in uh, Tyler, Texas, or whether it's on the statewide level, we are the only ones there fighting every day for the animals because we believe you can effectuate change for thousands of animals through one good law. For one of the most contentious legislative sessions in recent history, uh, we had um, some really important successes. Uh, first and foremost, the Safe Outdoor Dogs Act finally passed after uh, bringing that bill in three regular sessions and bringing it in a special session. It passed and going forward, that means dogs in Texas that are tethered, unattended outdoors must be provided adequate shelter, drinkable water, and you can't use a chain to restrain them. So we're really excited about that. Representative James Tallarico has joined us here today. He is one of our endorsed candidates running in House District 50, and uh, we are thrilled that he is here. So yeah, let's give it up for Representative Tallarico. I am personally knocking on thousands of doors. Um, our campaign is knocking on many more thousands beyond me, and uh, it's been uh, we've gotten a wonderful reception. And part of the um, you know things we hear about on the doors are obviously things like public education and health care. Um, and uh, but we have I think heard more and more um, issues of animal welfare. I think not just because it's the right thing to do and the moral thing to do, but also it's as all of you know necessary to fight climate change. It is now existential that uh, we try to reduce our meat consumption and that we try to respect animals in all aspects of society. And so I, I am proud to say that our campaign um, has officially become a non-meat campaign. So we um, have, we are, uh, we are only buying vegan products from, from our local vegan businesses. Um, some of you may know Big Nona's. They, they were little Nona's and then they opened up uh, brick and mortar, some of their big Nona's, but uh, we just got our pizza from there uh, today. And so um, the point is that I think all of us, um, not just policymakers, but, but everyone has to take personal responsibility um, in this effort. And y'all have done such an amazing job of elevating that. There were other important pieces of legislation, such as mandatory microchip scanning, which helps reunite pets with their people sooner as well as uh, a law that says that rescue groups no longer have to pay sales tax on their adoption fees. There were other bills that we supported and we've got a whole slew of uh, bills that we're looking at in the 2023 session, so our work isn't done. <laughs>